What is going on, everybody? We're back on Avatar Book 2, Episode 7. What is it titled? Zuku Alone. Coming off of last episode, I still don't... I kind of got to go back and... I can't remember many episodes that really stick out that make me think that. Um, but I made the comment I thought last episode was one of the best, if not the best, episodes that I've seen up to this point. Up to going through Book 1 and now through six episodes of Book 2. <clears throat> Just... The build-up, because I've seen Toph in, like, videos outside of, um, you know, the show. Um, I, I don't know anything about her story. I just know that, you know, I've seen her compared to Gara and other things like that. Um, so I was anticipating, you know, when we would see her. I had no idea she was going to fall into the category of being, at least I think. I mean, it still could, be ch it still could change, but she looked like she's going to be the one to teach Gon. I mean, to teach Gon, teach uh, Aang. His earth bending. I really wanted to see it be him and Boomy to kind of give Boomy that. Just to kind of give them that connection that they'd missed out on a hundred years, you know? Um, so we had that going on. And then just seeing. I don't know if they're going to show that every time she fights or we'll just kind of see her fight off to the side. Um, if they're going to show, you know, kind of what she's sensing every time. She goes through, and then seeing them seeing them make the deliberate, you know, she can't sense Aang when he's hovering off the ground, or she can't sense the air um, when it's being pushed, and things like that. So I'm under the impression, you know, because we saw it, because we did see it play out, it has to be like from the earth or connected with the earth, because when Sokka threw that belt at her, it smacked her in the head, because you know, it wasn't something that she could detect. Um... So then, in my case, does that only make her really effective versus other earthbenders? Like, is fire and water considered something that comes from the earth? Water, I could see, but fire, they're conjuring themselves. So if she was to be standing in front of Zuko, um, or if Zuko was riding on top of Appa, you know, they're kind of hovering off the ground a little bit. She's not going to sense Appa or Zuko. And she's standing right here. Zuko just jumps off of Appa's back. And before he touches the ground, because I feel like she would sense him when he hits the ground. Before he hits the ground, he's this close to her. He just fires a fireball at her face. And I think she's getting burned. Like, I don't think she's going to be able to dodge that. Now, what would happen if Zuko or others were standing in front of her? She would sense them because they're, con you know, they're kind of connected to the ground, connected to the earth. And I guess she could kind of sense their body movements, but you don't know if they're really throwing fire at you. Zuko could just go like this and no fire comes out just to mess with her and then do it again, but then fire comes out. So I don't know what she is able to sense and what she's not able to sense. Maybe we'll get more explanations on that as we go. I'm not sure. And I wanted to bring this up on last episode. We're kind of seeing, you know, bending being originally taught from... I don't want to say inanimate objects, but non-humans. So how are humans... Because I'm guessing firebending came from somehow being taught by the sun. But how how is that translated? And then airbending, I don't know if that's just been taught by, you know, Mother Nature and the winds. And that's how people picked up on airbending. But my specific point is the earthbending. How were the humans able to communicate with those animals to learn anything? You can observe... You know, like way back when, you could observe animals hunt and then use that to hunt animals in the future. You could watch how like a wolf and a lion and a tiger, you know, go about hunting and could try to imitate that. But you're still never going to fully be that. Mentally, maybe you have a big old men bigger mental capacity, but that's even on Facebook. That's easy, is what I'm saying. It'd be different if you saw a lion hunting and as a lion hunts, its kill shot is it blows fire out of its mouth. I can prance around and hide in the tall grass and do whatever I want to do, but then how do I get to the point where the fire shoots, the lion shoots fire out of his mouth? How do I learn that? And that's kind of where I'm hung up on with the earthbending specifically, is how did, you know, how were they able to communicate? Now, we don't know the levels of what the animals are able to do in this world as far as, you know, communications with humans. Um... But it's just interesting to me, like, if I sat down, what are they, I don't know, mole badgers or whatever they were called, and I just saw them doing this in front of me, you know, picking up earth, dropping it, picking up earth, dropping it, and I sat in front of them, and I just did this with my hands, 
trying to imitate that? Are you just saying over time it's going to start happening because I'm doing it? Or what is it that, you know, sparks that? Because you guys already told me it's not like Hunter Hunter World where everybody inherently has the ability to use Nen. You just have to be taught. Even those that don't even know how to use Nen end up using it, you know, for specialist purposes. This world is not like this. Benders are not just able to bend. Everybody's not able to bend. You know, only special, specific people can bend. So I... I don't know. And then who's to say they were... What's the chances that those two original ones were ones that were able to bend? So it's just a lot of how we're learning from animals and the moon. Like, I see what the moon does to the water. But then how do... It's the same thing, like... You know, when you're a kid and you see something sitting across the way and you see, like, on TV people making things float, I can watch them do that. I can sit there and do it, but, like, that object is never going to move no matter how hard I stare at it. Um, So I'm curious kind of, like, where that connection is made on what is it that benders are affluent to or unlocking or what it is they're specifically doing. But we'll try to figure it out as we go. Let me drag this over here and get started. Um, episode 7, or Book 2, Episode 7, Zuko Alone, pressing play right now. I also think this might be too bright, but we'll see. I want to provide more for you guys, like, visual-wise, but Avatar does not play. And that is way too bright. Sorry, we gotta darken it. Alright, we darkened it a little bit more. That should be better. Holy shit, it looks so bright. Well, guys, if you see this video, just know that YouTube didn't take it down. If there's a watermark avatar logo in front of the video, it got taken down. She's pregnant. We've seen him rob people before, but will he do it? No. I feel like I made it too small. Just nervous, especially with with Attack on Titan coming up. I don't want any strikes or any possibilities. Since I'm going to try to be putting full audio and visual of Attack on Titan episodes, which will probably lead to at least one or two strikes. I don't want Avatar to give me one as well. But we'll see. Patreon, you guys will get this on the 13th. YouTube, I think you guys will get this Thanksgiving-ish. I think we're kind of like one and a half to two weeks ahead on Patreon. I don't know how we got so far ahead. I think one week I did three episodes and it just kind of snowballed. <clears throat> Oh god, now he's going to think it's him. Here we go. Oh, so much. Shut up, kid. You got any money you can give me? Alright, I guess it works out. Still out on money, though. I never got kids that did shit like that, like... Like, yeah, I'm going to chuck shit at strangers. What? (sighs) 
Is that a pig chicken? Chicken pig. Far away. Jesus Christ. He's not wrong. You're going to give him PTSD in a minute. And what's these flashes he's having? We never got much of his mother. Is... I don't know how the Fire Lord... Oh, perfect. Turtle ducks? What the hell? So his little sister was a piece of shit, too. I was just curious if they had the same mother. I guess we're getting that answer. We never got. Can we just talk about this dude chucking a boulder at a duck? Oh, this is her little fire squad girls. Yep. Knife girl likes him. That's the gymnast. What happened to the mom? Was she just like grossly killed by the father? This is a young uncle. What, gifts of war? Oh, so how did Iroh not end up as the Fire Lord, the Zulon? How did that happen? How did we get jumped? Iroh was the older brother, in line, of course, and it didn't happen. Their father changed his mind, or... This kid's really trying to get burnt. Kids are such shits. <laughs>
Don't dull my blades. <clears throat> I think they're going to end up fire finding out. He's, what the fuck? What's up with all these mutated animals? <laughs> Not mutated, but... Oh no. Oh no. He's gonna have to fire Ben to save them, I think, and then what that turns into, who knows. Got sheep pigs, reindeer pig, pig cow chicken. He's going to have to firebend. Oh, uh, okay. I thought he was actually going to have to throw hands. Why is she crying? Don't do that, because then you're going to die, too. Did the best he could. I mean, he can't stay there forever. Oh, Zula. All right. She's your child. Someone just go ahead and take her head off. This is the first kind of face we've seen of him, even though we still can't actually see his face. So she's like the father, and Zuko is like the mother. Can he do anything, please? Tell me he could spit out some kind of fire. Is any fu He's going to kill him. 
and say he gave the and say he gave the throne to him. Yeah, he's plotted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did the mom not see these kids, like, not follow her? Jesus. He killed his father. I hate Izula so much. Someone's got to, like, slap her little ass in place. Clearly, clearly they never do, because we see how she's grown up to be. Oh lord. I don't know if I don't know if people really die in this show like that. But if Izula was to be number 1 on that list, I wouldn't mind. He's going to have to firebend, isn't he? He sh Actually, we've seen him fight pretty well without having to use his fire. He looks so much better with the buzzed head, too. That dude ran away after one hit. He said, I'm out. Tiger. So he's bending, correct? Or is he just hitting the earth that hard and just doing it with the hammers? This would be easier if he could just burn his ass, but he can't. I don't want him to have to bend. We never even... What ended up happening to his mom? She was killed. Was she killed by her own husband? 
Tell me he didn't kill his father and then kill his wife and then banish his uncle, banish his brother and then, or did she leave? Can't tell. Yeah, he had to do it. Had to do it. Don't say your name. They're not going to want to, yeah, exactly. Because of his brother, yeah. What can you do? Did she just leave, or is she... Take it from me. Yeah, exactly. You little shit. So he killed his father. The mother must have known something was going to be bad if she stayed around. Here's the thing, though. Iroh was headed back, so... Did they not wait on him, or did Iroh just, like, give it up, or what? As was your dying wish. Who, uh, we still haven't seen his face yet, really. Here's the thing, though. Who heard that was his dying wish? His second son? Conveniently? Yeah, it's just a shit show. Tell me you're not about to chuck shit at him. Okay, cool. He was going to have to do that, but he's not over here trying to win over, you know, Earth Kingdom people, so it's not that big of a deal. Pretty good episode, though. Um, I've been calling it for a while. It's going to be the Zuko uh, revenge season, <laughs> um, and I'm sure they're going to kind of build up his sympathy, you know, showing us his background and what happened, diving deeper. Um... And that's so wild. I was curious, like, right when this episode started, like, we never really seen his mom, and then we get his mom there. She looks to have just straight up left, so she could still be out there, still be alive, but what purpose does she serve as far as... What purpose does she serve to the story? Like, she doesn't serve anything politically. She's not gonna, like, be able to, I don't know, persuade Fire Nation people to follow her. She doesn't give anything valuable to Aang. So if she is alive and still out there, what purpose does she serve other than Zuko finding out that his mom is still alive? Um, Azula's a piece of shit, but we already knew that. Um, and how conveniently, the day after they have that meeting, uh, the Fire Lord dies. And not only does he die, he decides to give the throne to his second son. Second son. Where did that wish come from, though? Was um, Ozai the only one by his bedside? And he's like, this was my father's dying wish. Like, that's rather convenient. Um, so we'll see how it plays out. And then we know Zuko was banished. I don't think we've gotten 
um, Iroh's backstory as far as did his father care enough to send his brother out there to watch over his son even though he was banished? Or Iroh cared enough for Zuko like he was his own son since he lost his son that he voluntarily said, you know, to his older bro to his brother, you know, I know you banished him, but you know, I'll follow him, keep an eye on him, do whatever. I, I don't know where the specifics are in that, but I'll wait and see how it plays out. Some pretty good uh back to back episodes there. I was kinda wishing I was hoping that he wouldn't have to leave that village as this like Fire Nation enemy, you know, and they see him as like, you know, a Fire Lord Prince second in you know, in line to the throne. All, you know. But he had to do what he had to do. They're saved. Uh, for now, I mean, there's nothing stopping those those grown men from just coming back and running through the town again, but we'll see how it plays out. Uh, and yeah, we'll go from there. I appreciate it, guys. Y'all have a good week, weekend, whenever you're seeing this. And we'll go from there. Like, share, favorite, subscribe, as always.